Alright, today I'm going to give my final review on the Glide Super Glide V or the Razer Viper 8K and my final thoughts on if it's worth it or not. For 23 bucks is what you can get. My green screen is making it delete because it is green. It's kind of funny. See right through it. So let's get right into the video. I've been using it for a month now. For 23 bucks, you get these glass feet. Yes, they last your lifetime, but here, I'll explain my issues with why I don't recommend this to anyone. It's not that these are a bad product. The fact that how they interact with the surface of your mouse pad. So this mouse pad here. Here, it reacts fine right now but that's also because the humidity is a lot lower than what it usually is there's a lot of humidity in there these feet drag on here like it's a muddy feeling i don't know how else to describe it it feels like this is mud and also your skin oils get on this mouse pad so every day you have to clean it with a lysol wipe otherwise it's fine it's a lot smoother than PTF feet, but they're easy to scratch and weather makes it so unpredictable with being consistent. PTF, for some reason, the material ignores other materials trying to infuse with it. The way it's made, it just won't. Other materials can't stick to it. And when there's different humidities, I've yet to notice any difference between PTF and on this mouse pad, even if I didn't clean it for a day or a week. Compared to these glass ones, which I have to clean the feet because that get built up, and then I have to clean the mouse pad as well every single day. Otherwise, you get sticky feet and it's it's horrible so don't buy the super glides if you live in high humidity areas or uncontrollable weather like my room fluctuates depending on what uh the weather is outside is what my room is because there's no insulation so for me this is impractical it makes competitive gaming near impossible now the mouse itself is fine the weight of it it's 74 grams it has a 20k dpi sensor but it's 8k pulling rate the mouse i recommend to anyone if you're looking for a mouse that's wired but be warned if you're using the 8k pulling rate it will slow down your computer in some older games because your cpu just becomes slammed with the input from it i would also stick with the feet it comes with until you wear those down and then if you're considering buying more i'd recommend super glide or if you live in a high humidity area just get other ptf feet or feet that are not glass. The difference between the glass and the PTF is there is lower starting friction where you can just tap in or slide easier versus PTF where it sort of slides, it sort of sticks. You need a little bit more force for it to move, which for some games that's not a problem. For high precision FPS games like CSGO or Valorant, you would want the glass feet. If I had the glass feet on this mouse and I didn't have the humidity issue, this thing would just roll around like nothing. It would be gliding it'd be perfect but i also feel like the too light of a mouse with those glass feet you can't stop it on a dime and click down at the same time because when you click down you may move it micrometers which then causes input to the mouse which then causes your aim to be off even by one pixel two pixels and there's a lot more room for error and in my experience on a player score of one to ten for sliding this is a 10 out of 10 when it's brand new and when there is no humidity in there but as it get more humidity it does tend to drop down to like a five it becomes even harder than a ptf feet for moving and then that causes inconsistencies hey you yes you i'm talking to you if you like the content on this channel please subscribe otherwise leave a comment on what i can do to improve okay bye